guys, it's us again, Marie and Vanessa. So we're back with another video to show you. Um, this is going to be our top 10 favorites. These are top 10, we can't live without, we use everyday products. Yeah. Um, and they range from high-end to drugstore. These are things that, things that yeah, we... I, like, I personally have to have. I yeah. cannot leave the house without these on. So let's get started. So... I'll go first. Is that okay with That's you? That's fine. Love it. Okay, so my, yeah, so my first top 10 is my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I absolutely love this. I, I apply it, could apply it with my hands, with the Beauty Blender, uh, with a the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love this brush or the Shiseido buffing brush. Yeah, um, I also use. I I love these brushes. Um, it's a medium. Uh, it's supposed to be like a medium to full coverage, but I really sheer it out. Um, it's, yeah, it really doesn't show that she's wearing foundation. It's it's really good. I love it, and I am in shade ten. So here you go, and this is available at Sephora. That's good for her because she has like a bit more oily skin. I tried it on my hand. It would be too too heavy for my skin because yeah. I would flake out with that. But maybe a different brand or a different texture of that yeah. brand would work much better. Like the Maracuja. Yep. Second item is, as you've already seen in previous videos, is my Erno Laszlo Multi Face Concealer in shade three. Alas, it's discontinued, and look how much there's left. It's insane. Rest in peace. I, I absolutely love this. The texture is amazing. The coverage is flawless. It is my holy grail of concealers. I'm using a chorus uh, to test out the waters. It's not bad, but I, you know, when you're used to something as amazing as this, it takes Such a while a for, yeah. Third item is my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Because I have oily skin, I have oily eyelids. So... Anything I put on my eyes, if I don't put this on, it'll crease within like an hour or two. This keeps my eyeshadow in place for all day. I love it. It's my holy grail. Mm -hmm. Next up is my Buxom Amplified Lash Mascara. This is an amazing mascara. I absolutely love it. It volumizes and lengthens all by the twist of this knob. Personally, I prefer the lengthening. I just love the natural look it gives. It's amazing. It's really good. Also, uh, another item is the eye call. I get no kick. I love to brighten up the eyes with this. I just line it along the waterline in the morning. Okay, it won't last all day, but it helps brighten the eye. It gives you more of an awake feel. Yeah, it's like a champagne feel. Color. It's like a pearly pink. I love it. I use white, but... I tried it a bit earlier, and next paycheck. <laughs> so, um, another item that I love, love, love is the Mac Peachy uh, Peachy Keen Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. Are you wearing that today? Um, no, I'm wearing a from the Archie Girls collection. Okay. This is an amazing sheer. It looks really strong, but it's super sheer. This is like a really like built up color. It's that, and really that looks like light. it could be something that could go on any skin tone. Yeah, it's really nice. Like, I'm much lighter than she is, and I would You'd be able wear, to wear it too. I would wear yeah. that. It's really nice. Yeah. I really like it. Uh, two uh, eyeshadows that I love, 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 use as my everyday go-to, uh, NARS Nepal. It's an amazing pink peachy color it's absolutely gorgeous it is very very natural it's really nice i usually apply this all over the lid and in the crease in the outer v i use max saddle it's an amazing combination gives a nice peachy clean look i absolutely it's my go-to yeah very natural colors i really like them uh my Longwear Gel Eyeliner for Shimmer Ink. I absolutely love gel eyeliners. This is a really nice olive deep green. I used to line the top lash line. It's amazing. So I what love would it. you use as a brush with that? I would use the MAC 211 brush. Okay. It's a really fine tip brush, but you can use like a longer tip. Okay. You, but... I find this is perfect. I'm not one for liquid liners. I'm really messy with that. Pencils are really easy every day, but I'm blown away by these eyeliners. Really? These okay. are amazing. 
And last but not least, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's I'm a lipstick girl. You all know I'm a lipstick girl. But in the morning, before I leave the house, albeit, okay, I have, like, four different lipsticks in my purse, but I do not leave the house without applying my Giorgio Armani Shine Lipstick Number 4. It's a nice, pale, nude pink, perfect for, like, daytime. Perfect for night as well when you're pairing it with, like, a more smoky eye. Yeah. Amazing texture. I it absolutely looks love it. It creamy. It yeah. looks like... And you cannot see it very well, but you see, like, the G-A in the back. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's so pretty. Obviously, I've destroyed it with, like, the constant usage, That's but... It's not that bad. I've seen it's, worse. It's amazing. I love it. Um, so, these are my top ten. So, Vanessa, okay. which one your turn? <laughs> so, my top tens. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned the Armani Self Luminous. In your well, hall, yeah. In the hall, it's life-changing. Best foundation for me ever. It's so light. It You can control the amount that you put in. Really, two pushes. I have a big face. So you can... It covers my whole <laughs> face. It's amazing. It's not as a heavy coverage as other foundations might be. But with a good primer mm -hmm. and everything, it stays all day. And it doesn't end up feeling super powdery at the end. So it doesn't dehydrate my skin. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I also put the Laura Mercier primer on top that has been a revelation. That's really good, yeah. For the last two weeks. We've mentioned it earlier. It's amazing. The only thing about it that I don't really like, but I'm getting over it, is the fact that it doesn't smell really good. It doesn't stick. It's not a smell that sticks to your skin, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it doesn't, like, but it yeah. goes on really thin and it's lovely and I love it and I wear it every day. Oh, that's good. Uh, I have... Now I'm wearing foundation, and but I have a very red base mm -hmm. to my skin tone. Uh, because my skin is very dry and sometimes dehydrated, um, I become really, really red. Patchy red. And this is something that I mix in with my primer practically every day. Mm -hmm. It's the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. Uh, it's shade green, because as you know, green breaks down the redness of my skin. So it's lovely. It goes on really, really. It's really green, mm. but it doesn't go like this on your face. And I once had a really bad sunburn and used that, and it, it broke down the redness. And I was able to go out that night and show that I was actually tanned instead of burned like a lobster. So that's four. And so there are two Armani products as well. <laughs> that. Uh, I go for it's the bronzer it looks really dark but when I swatched it it looks actually it goes on yeah. so light I generally take it with a bronzer brush for more money as well you don't need an Armani brush any bronzer brush would be fine but it's super light and it doesn't pick up that much so yeah. you can the use of out of I'm gonna get out of this is gonna be it's gonna last you forever amazing and it's like really sure and you can build it up but it's always gonna be really natural and I like the fact it's brown Instead of a like a like gold a muddy or orange bronzer because I I don't like that look for me like I like colder colors that has a bit of warmth but yeah like it's not orange so I love it and I love the fact that our many products are black it's like, very sleek it, it's yeah it's sleek it's clean like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break it's subtle there's the little Giorgio Armani brand like I'm not a magnetic like, a brand yeah. hag. But they're like there's a difference. Yeah, the quality about certain things. And this is the blush. It's really nice. It's, it's very called light. Voile de Blush, Sheer Blush. Apparently, it's like a, been a bestseller for years. Um, once again, it would go with most skin tones, even yours. It would be, be a bit it would light, be light on, yeah. on you, but it goes on super sheer, and you don't end up with, like with rosy cheeks because mm. that's something I don't want it, already that I have a red yeah. base that I want to end up like okay well she's red and she's adding red on her face so I was always cautious about like pinks but I've really really grown to like this and I wear it every day and every time I get compliments I look healthy and oh that's good goes well I'm also a lipstick girl but I'm mostly a lip balm girl mm. but when I go out or I just want to wear like a really really plain makeup and at work, this is my day um, lipstick. It's a it's, really nice nude. It's from Viva Glam MAC. It's Lustre. 
and it's really sheer, and there's a bit of sparkle in it, and it goes on really, really sheer. A bit darker, I have very light lips, lips yeah. but it goes really well, and it sticks. Even without a pen, a pencil, a lip pencil, it stays. Wow. So, it doesn't fade, it doesn't run out. I love it. Oh, that's nice. It was a really good choice, because I went there, and I went, I want something for the day, and the person at the counter was so helpful. She's like, you know what, go with that. It's gonna, you're gonna rock, rock it, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, that's nice. And I, when I go out at night, I love a red lip. Mm. You have that skin tone for it. Like, you wear red so well. So, uh, I have a couple of red lipsticks that I have. I have the Ruby Roo from uh, MAC. MAC. That's super matte, and there you have to be cautious about how you wear it, because it can look very pasty, or like, way too dry, and look as if you've had makeup for too long, and it cracks. So you, you're, caref you're careful with that. But my favorite one is from Clarence. It's Rouge Prodige. It's a, that's a red. That's <laughs> a serious red. Like you, it's red. It, it's very, very red. Um, I it, like the packaging. It ha Yes. I like how it's slick. Once again, packaging matters. Yeah. Um, it has a... Like, it's not an orange red. It's, it's like a blue base. It's a blue base. So, but it... It's delicious. I always it's get compliments, really and even the inside is red. It's really, really good. I've been really, really happy with this. Um, I've had it since Christmas. I've worn it like 10, 15 times, and it's solid. Solid. Like, And I don't have to do a touch-up every 15 minutes, which is something that's always amazing. Oh, that's good. And yes, you, you, have, you mentioned the um, lip, lip liner. Pen, the lip liner. It never faded out. Oh, that's good. Like, I do when I, I use a red pen with it, like a basic one, but it didn't bleed. Oh, that's good. So, that was amazing. And that are, honestly, amazing. Pharmacy bought, Pharmapri is my life. I spend way too much money there. <laughs> First is the Marcel 2-in-1 uh, retractable eyeliner. There's the smudging sponge. Ooh. And it's just like a black and you can go up and down. I wear black eyeliner, I think, every day. Mm. Uh, I don't, either I can do a, a thicker line, or just even put this up, like, right under my um, eyelids. Not eyelids. You tight line? Like, yeah. the, the top water line? Yeah, the top and under. Like, okay. I lift up and, like, yeah. it's odd, but I love it. It doesn't It makes run. the lashes look thicker. I have no lashes, and I wear glasses. Yeah. So I can't curl my eyelashes every day mm -hmm. and wear mascara because it will streak my glasses. Mm. So it's a good trick. And it, I don't end up with raccoon eyes at the end of the day. Oh, that's good. But I don't put it under because I don't like... It's too heavy. Sometimes I do, but I would just put it in the tear line and that would be it. And this is my one of my favorite products. It's it's a nice eyebrow. It's Yeah, it's from Almay. Uh, I've used it for a while. I, we can't even read the color that's on it anymore. <laughs> it's like a light brown. <laughs> it's a light brown, like I'm a redhead. So it's light. Um, it comes... I lost the cap. <laughs> so like a mascara brush to just brush your eyebrows in. And it comes also with a roll-on to apply retractable. it. That's yeah, really retractable. That's really good. And honestly, I, I think it cost me like $6 or something. I've had it for months. Super natural. Not as thick. Um... Well, you and I, we watch a lot of YouTube videos yeah. and follow a couple of makeup artists yeah. on Instagram. And some of the makeup artists are crazy really eyebrows. Really too thick, yeah. And um, I take care of my eyebrows, like, but I don't like the super precise look. So I, I just use it to fill it in. And yeah, those are more my... of a natural look. Exactly. Yeah. Like, so these are my top tens. So you go from yeah. high end to, like, perfect, and that's all you need. I don't need anything that's more than that. Yeah, especially when you do your eyebrows that often, it's and you don't need to do them. So yeah, it's what you don't need to waste so much, spend so much money on. Like, yeah, there and this I use really every day, even on days that I do go out without a stitch of makeup on my face. Mm. I will put that on. Yeah, just to fill it in to set like my face. frame your face. Yeah, frame yeah. my face. <laughs> it's a product. Oh uh, oh, it's one but not the least. I'm sorry, we share that product. Yeah. It's not in your top ten, but it's in mine. It's, I'm sorry, I cut uh, you out. It's okay, sweetie. It's the NARS uh, Copacabana Illuminator. Oh, that's a nice one, yeah. So there are two ways that I use this. 
sometimes when I go out at night, I mix it in with my foundation. Mm -hmm. So it gives me a great sheen. Or I just uh, dot it, take a little dot, and put it like right here. I and like, like the top do, of the cheek. Exactly, bone, yeah. and it gives great, it's super sheer. And honestly, sometimes, as I said before, I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow makeup. So sometimes I just put it like right here to, and then my tear dot, and like that's all, and it's perfect, and it's lovely. The only thing is when I opened it, I was kind of disappointed. I felt like half of it was empty. It's oh, only the half of the container it's that's full. filled. Yeah. But it, like, you don't need a lot, and it's amazing. Yeah, it, it's something that lasts, like, a really long time. Like, this has been my first NARS product that I ever bought. I know you're a NARS girl for the past oh 10 years. Oh, my God, yeah. But, um, yeah, I was convinced. If that uh, says it's about good, what yeah. the rest of the company is. Yeah. It's a good brand. Yeah. Oh, wait, I also forgot something else. <laughs> Your concealer. <laughs> my concealer that it's, yeah, I use it as concealer. It's a fontan. It's a pan stick. Um, Makeup Forever is a professional makeup brand, so sometimes some of the products are can be very theatrical, very thick, yeah. and very thick that like are good for movies or like super full coverage. Super full coverage. This is as thick as they come. You can patch a wall with that. <laughs> but I use it for contouring. I put it under my eyes, and like I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing it right now. It doesn't look too cakey. It's on very me. Like, natural. It's very natural. You have to work it in. I do it both with my fingers and with a brush. And because I fake, I wouldn't put it on my forehead. But, like, here it's, it's perfect. Yeah. And I love it. I, I, It's not for everybody. It wouldn't work for everybody. It works great for me. And, yeah. That's great. Now, now I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the top ten. Um, and... I hope you all are all having a nice day, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye! Bye.